Welcome to the Legislative Office Building. The Legislative Office Building is considered one of the most modern, state-of-the-art legislative buildings in the country. The building was designed by the firm of Russell Gibson Von Dolan and was completed in 1988. It took three years to construct. In the Legislative Office Building are the offices of the state legislators. Senators' offices are on the third floor and representatives' offices are on the fourth floor. A legislative library and research office and the offices of legislative management, legislative commissioners, and fiscal analysis are all on the fifth floor. On the first and second floors are hearing rooms. There are 10 in total. Standing on a 24 foot tall granite column in the atrium is the statue Eagle Landing. Designed by David von Schlegel, a professor at Yale University, the eagle is made of aluminum covered in gold leaf and stands eight feet tall. The eagle symbolizes civic pride, virtue, and strength. The statue is situated so it is aligned with the Capitol Dome, connecting the two buildings visually. The statue cost $100,000. In the center of the atrium floor is the Legislative Office Building seal. This multi-pointed star is based on the eight-pointed stars or rosettes found throughout the Capitol. Variations of the star appear throughout the legislative office building, such as in the lights by the escalators, on the elevator doors, and carved in the granite. If you stare at the floor long enough, you can find eight-pointed stars. The state seal is also found throughout the legislative office building and capitol building. It is on doors, carpeting, chairs, stained glass, carved into stone, and in painted form. In the center of the state seal are three grapevines. There are two interpretations as to what the grapevines represent. Most people believe they represent the first three towns in Connecticut, Windsor, Wethersfield, and Hartford. Another interpretation is that the vines stand for the three colonies or settlements, New Haven, Saybrook, and Connecticut Hartford, which by 1665 had merged to form the Connecticut of that time. The state motto, qui transtulit sustinet, which translates to he who transplanted still sustains, is inscribed in the banner below the shield. On the atrium floor, the beige and black marble was imported from Italy, the gray marble was imported from Mexico, and the rose marble from Spain. The exterior and interior granite, both polished and unpolished, is from Texas. The shades are sunset red and beige. The legislative office building as a whole was designed to complement and not to compete with the Capitol's beauty. The colors found in the legislative office building are similar to those of the Capitol, but the legislative office building's colors are softer and more muted.